Well, what we're going to do first, I think, is take these boards and um, line it up maybe with one of We these. have purchased pine wood for our boards and nails. We'll be making a four foot by four foot raised bed garden. Anytime you plan to dig into the soil, make sure you call before you dig. Taking one of the boards and attaching it to the stakes is our next step. It's nice to do this project with at least one other person. This paper about maybe two or three thick and we're going to layer them and overlap them. The newspaper is placed about three sheets thick on the bottom of the garden to prevent weeds. Never use newspaper that is colored and used soy-based ink black and white newspaper. This is peat moss. Um, it's a good idea to wash your hands after it because some people um, do break out a little rash which is kind of annoying. I've used it for a long time and I've always washed my hands with soap and water when you're done. I've never had a problem, but... We should probably need about four and a half of this in there. Please purchase a slow-release fertilizer for vegetables. When mixing slow-release fertilizer into your media, read and follow all the label directions. Well, we've got three beds um, completely made, built, and in place. And next, our next step will be to plant the gardens out here with the kids, and we'll go from there. This guy, we're going to plant it right in the middle of this one. Okay? So how about we'll work with your toenails? So you can dig up a spot, and put right in the middle. So what I'm going to do, just kind of pop them out. You want to hold him? Whoop! That's all right. And you're going to plant them right in here. So go ahead and put your tomato in there, Josh. Here we go. And now what you're going to do, you want to cover them up a little bit. So take your soil that you dug up and then cover up your tomato. Oh, and we'll keep, we'll keep the plant open, but we'll put some soil over around them. Right there, and we'll have... There we go. Water. You're going to be planting a pepper plant. Yeah. So, I'm going to have you dig up a hole right over here. Yeah. Do this? Yeah. It works for a time. Yeah. Okay, so what, and you can put the soil up here. Yep, so just go ahead and put that right there. And then keep digging right there. Perfect. Okay, ready? So you can put this one right in here. And now you can, you can just kind of cover them up a little bit. So the children come out and they actually they pick the vegetables and we a lot of them they've eaten right out of the garden, the peas, the green beans, and we've had lots of lettuce and our cook has come and made a lettuce salad. And the kids, you know, will eat lettuce salad, maybe eat radishes, carrots. We had all different colored of carrots, which was very, very interesting for the children. But what we've noticed is by having the garden, that the children are eating more vegetables because they've been involved with planting and harvesting the vegetables and, and seeing how they, they grow. So it's been a wonderful experience. We feel fortunate that we've had this opportunity this year and hoping that we'll be able to do it next year too.